Come. Thank you. Thank you, Vedant. Uh, Pakistani and U.S. officials have held their latest talks in Washington on how to expand uh, cooperation in tackling uh, the threat of terrorism posed to regional security. Can you provide some details of these meetings? So uh, the we confirmed with Pakistan today our, our bilateral intention to increase our capacity to meet emerging threats, specifically to increase communication on terrorism, uh, specifically terrorism trends and movements of concern in a way that is uh, not just actionable within Pakistan, but also uh, an area w uh, that, that is actionable between our two countries. We also agreed about preventing and deterring terrorist groups and the work can that be done in that place, uh, such as counter IED investigations, technical assistance at Pakistan's western border and other issues. So yesterday, a uh, missile fired by a drone uh, struck a house in a former stronghold of the Pakistani Taliban along with the Afghan border. Would you confirm or deny if that so I, I, I don't have anything for you that I defer you to my colleagues at the Pentagon. So one last question. Sure. Iranian traders smuggle more than $1 billion worth of fuel into neighboring Pakistan annually. Is it a concern that how black market earning billions of dollars in that region? So all Iran sanctions remain in effect and we advise anyone considering business deals with Iran to be aware of the potential risks.